And right up this area, what you're going to notice are a lot of these trees. These are babies, actually. These are only about four years old. But uh, we planted them, they were only one foot tall, and now uh, look at them, they're 20, 25 feet tall. These are neem trees, N-E-E-M, neem. Probably one of the most important parts of our entire operation is neem. This leaf right here is edible. Matter of fact, extremely edible and incredibly good for you. So this, um, excuse me, you know, I take these and usually put three or four of them in tea, all right? But you can eat one, uh, not a problem. You can eat one, and what you want to do is basically suck the main ingredient out of it or consume it. The main ingredient is called um, azuradictin, extremely powerful drug. This tree and this formula has been used in... Um, in Asia for over 4,000 years, okay? They've been using it in the human body for ailments that I can't even list, but please do your due diligence. But, you know, this is what we use in the field. And so what would happen normally is that tree, these trees grow at least another 100 feet. These could be 100, 125 feet tall, and they get extremely wide. So we surround our entire operation with neem trees. All right, what does that do? Number one, it acts as a wind barrier, right? So it protects those mango trees uh, that you see behind me. Uh, that's number one. Number two, it's the most productive in terms of vegetative mass of any tree on the planet. Number one, it means it grows more leaves than any other tree on the planet. All right, why is that important? Well, those leaves fall off the tree and then they spread all over the ground and break down into the soil and fix the nitrogen in the soil. So it acts number two. Number three is we take these leaves and the berries and we water base it, all right? And if you have any problem with funguses in the field, you just spray a certain area. We'll get a call from one of our uh, agronomists uh, and, and they'll tell us there's a fungus problem in grid five and they'll fill up a 2,500 gallon container of, uh, of water that they'll hitch onto the back of a tractor and fill that with a portion of neem, uh, um, uh, portion of neem, and ultimately spray it in an area that you have a fungus on the trees, we'll eradicate it all naturally and organically. So extremely important uh, piece of, of what we do here and in all of our operations. Um, if you look out there, and you just see the scale of, of that particular tree, but that tree is only uh, really about five, uh, maybe five and a half years old, okay? Um, it's massive. Uh, that's probably a good 20 feet wide and, and maybe uh, 18, 20 feet tall. That's a Lady Victoria right there. It's the type of cultivar that we, that we grow here. And um, initially we put about 50 trees on a hectare uh, while we're waiting for the soil to uh, get, get um, better acclimated and um, suited for more trees. And then once we know it's ready and the agricultural engineers know it's ready, we'll plant more trees. Now each hectare in this area has uh, about 250 trees per hectare. So we go from 50 to 250 over the course of the first three or four years. So these are around five and a half years old, and these are about two and a half years old. So see how quickly they grow. These little baby two and a half year olds will be that size in about three more years. Uh, down on my left hand side, this blue uh, uh, metal shafts coming out of the ground, that's part of a pumping system underground. And uh, that's a regulator, and it'll really uh, determine how much water is coming out of the ground. And then it'll send drip irrigation to each one of these trees, all regulated by one of our technologies, in this case it's Suplants, S-U-P-P-L-A-N-T dot M-E. Uh, Suplant technology is really an incredible technology. We use it in all of our fields. It's fantastic for you. Straight off the tree. All right. Good for you. You can eat this also.